Do you have a special someone who's really into disc golf, but you just don't know what to get them? Whether for the holidays, birthday, or some kind of special event, you've come to the right place. Today on Just Disc, I'm gonna let you guys know about some unique and useful disc golf gift ideas that you may not have thought of. But before we get started, you may be asking yourselves, where is the best place to buy disc golf stuff? Well, first and foremost, please support your local disc golf stores. That is the most important. They need our support. Unfortunately, for most of us, we have to buy online because we don't have any disc golf stores near us. Lucky for you, I've compiled a list of disc golf stores to shop at online. Now, I've only used five personally, and I will put them in the description below, but the remaining list, there's some awesome sites that you can use that others prefer and that others trust. So it's really up to you on what you choose, but my top five are acerunners.ca, infinitedisc.com, amazon.com, marshallstreetdisc.com, and truenorthdiscgolf.com. Those are just ones that I've used, but again, look at that list for other options. Starting off with the first item of the Disc Golf Buyer's Guide, mystery boxes. Now, mystery boxes are randomly selected disc golf items chosen and sent to you. Some include just discs only, while others include accessory items. Prices therefore vary depending on what you are looking for and how many items you would like to receive. Therefore, they are a lot of fun and there are so many different websites that offer so many different options. So make sure you check them out. Moving on to the second item of the Disc Golf Buyer's Guide, Disc Golf Mini Baskets. A Disc Golf Mini Basket is the perfect decoration for the office or disc golf shelf. They are so cool to look at, and some of them are pretty much a miniaturized version of the real thing. And there are also some that you can actually play with, and I've actually seen some people on YouTube create videos showing trick shots into their baskets. I personally bought the Dynamic Disc Micro Recruit Basket, something you've probably seen in some of my videos, and I'm absolutely loving it. And I actually did a video review on that basket and offered other options, so make sure you check that out. Moving on to the third item of the Disc Golf Buyer's Guide, the Rovic RV 1D Disc Golf Cart. When I'm on the disc golf course, I notice a lot of people with carts, but more specifically, two wheel carts. And what baffles me is that two wheels is a lot worse off than three wheels, because with two wheels, you're always having to balance the cart while also pulling or pushing it. And from many years of playing ball golf, I used to have and still have my own three-wheeled cart made by a company named Click Gear. And they are a big name in the ball golf world. And pushing that thing around has always been easy, has always been an enjoyable experience. So the Rovic RV1D is basically their ball golf cart adapted to disc golf. So it's very similar to what I currently have, and I've even tried to adapt my ball golf cart to it, but it just doesn't work that well. So I'll be looking in the future to be getting this disc golf cart because I simply trust this company. I've had my cart for over four years thus far, and it rolls well, it's lightweight, it's durable, it's compact, it has so many great features. So make sure you check them out because I'm definitely gonna be getting one myself. Moving on to the fourth item of the Disc Golf Gift Buyer's Guide, Disc Golf Storage Racks. The more you get into disc golf, the more space you need for your discs. Yes, some people like to use boxes, but it really doesn't put them on a nice display. It's hard to kind of look through them and some people feel it damages them. So it's a great idea to invest in a rack, something that is made for disc golf discs. And actually, I did a video on disc golf storage options available to the public. In it, I researched and provided the best options that are currently available, and they range from the do-it-yourself to the high-cost money isn't an issue. Personally, I bought the Neat Freak Sport 3-tier stackable multi-purpose storage shelf, and I'm loving it because it stores so many discs, it doesn't look that bad, and also was only around $60 Canadian, so it's a very fair price. So make sure you check out some of those links in the description below. Now moving on to the fifth item of the Disc Golf Gift Buyer's Guide, Disc Golf Gloves. Just because it's raining out or just because it's winter doesn't mean that the fun has to stop and you can no longer play disc golf. 
Having a good pair of warm and grippy disc golf gloves is really crucial in prolonging your disc golf season. After all, it really is the only connection between you and the disc, so it's important to get a good pair. I personally bought some head snow gloves from Costco because they were thin and they had a bit of grip to them, but they're really not designated for disc golf, but they do work. However, there are many different companies out there who offer really thin, warm and grippy gloves. You just kind of have to look around. But if you're looking for a more specific disc golf company, check out the Friction Disc Golf Gloves at frictiongloves.com. They're known to be really good, so make sure you check them out. Now looking at the sixth item of the Disc Golf Gift Buyer's Guide, we have the InZone Quick Stick Disc Retriever. There's nobody that I know that likes to lose their discs, especially when you can see them, but you can't get to them. So you may wanna look at getting the Quick Stick. It's a very simple gadget that just extends and picks the disc up with their simple design. I don't have one personally. However, I have seen some good things said when people have purchased it in the reviews. So it's really up to you if you wanna get one of these, but if you tend to lose a lot of discs just because you can't reach them, you may wanna get the quick stick. Moving on to the seventh item of the Disc Golf Gift Buyer's Guide, we have UV flashlights for disc golf charging. Playing glow rounds are some of the most fun you'll have playing disc golf. I mean, why limit yourself to just daylight rounds? If you use or purchase glow discs, they can be charged to light up using a UV flashlight. It's really amazing on how quickly these discs light up and how much they actually glow. Now, there are so many different UV flashlights to choose from, and evidently you don't need one that's meant for disc golf. Any UV flashlight will work, but I'll definitely put a few options in the description of this video. Now, looking at the eighth item of the Disc Golf Gift Buyer's Guide, the goat towel. Towels come in all shapes and sizes, and we know that they're very important on the disc golf course to keep your disc clean and your hands dry. Luckily, there is the goat towel, which is a designated disc golf towel that is double-sided and was actually recommended by Simon Lazat. The one side has a waffle weave, which is really useful for tackling mud and dirt. And the other side is a microfiber to get rid of things like water and dew. So it's a multi-purpose type towel that really takes care of you on the course. So if you're looking at getting a new towel for around $20 Canadian, it's really not that much, especially considering the size. So make sure you check them out. And now for the final disc golf gift item, we have disc golf board games. From what I gather, there are actually two disc golf board games that are out there. The first is the Birdie disc golf board game, and the second is the Bosch disc golf board game. Now, both games have you play through 18 holes in board game fashion. However, the Birdie game is the less serious version where it tries to incorporate unique things like attributes that you need to upgrade, and it really seems like they try and make the game a little bit more fun than realistic. Whereas the Bosch game really tries that realistic approach to those who want to take it seriously. That is simply what I gathered from the two. It's up to you to obviously check the games out in a little bit more detail, see what people are saying in the reviews, and choose which one is best for you. So what do you guys think of these unique and useful disc golf ideas? Do you have any of these items already? Or did some of these items prove to be useful and helpful for gift ideas? Let me know in the comments below. Please stay tuned for more Justice content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.